Good morning, guys, and welcome to moving day. We're heading up to Nelson. We've got about a six hour drive. We're gonna do the coast drive instead of going through the mountains the way we did last time when we went to just check out Nelson and do the interview that I had. So we're packing up the Airbnb. It's time to check out and hit the road. It's stunning outside. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's sunny, it's gorgeous. And we're super excited to get to Nelson and get settled in. did it in I would say about an hour to pack everything up and get it all in the car and get it tetris in here good to go popped into Kaikoura to get a little snack we're gonna have a pie before hitting the road and heading up to Blenheim and then that'll be our next stop I think I got a really delicious steak and ale pie which was 10 out of 10 and Donovan got a burger and some chips so good this place is really delicious it's called why not cafe check it out if you're in the area we've pulled over just to stretch our legs and grab a beer at Renaissance or Marlboro Brewing Company check these guys out when we were at Beervana and they had some amazing beer probably the best beer that was there Hey guys, good morning from Sunny Nelson. This is our second full day in our new apartment and by the time you're watching this video, the apartment tour has been posted. So I'll link it here and down below if you haven't seen that yet and you wanna see the place we're living in. But today we're gonna to go out and do a bit of exploring. It's gorgeous, it's sunny. It's gonna be a high of 17 degrees Celsius, which is just amazing. wandering around right now going on a walk right from our apartment and there's all these amazing things we're really really close to Tahananui Beach there's like mini golf and water slide there's a little zoo in here oh my god this is so cool to a sunny Saturday in Nelson. We've just hit up the Nelson market and grabbed a bunch of veggies. One thing that I really love about New Zealand is the farmer's markets here are actually cheaper to get groceries like fresh produce. We're back home, I feel like it's more expensive sometimes. So it really pays to get out in the morning, go to the market and grab some groceries. And we're gonna head home after this. So we'll see you for some more exploring down the road. We got home and decided it's a beautiful day get on the kayak for the first time and so far so good we walk the kayak across the street to the beach and the water's a little chilly but lots of people out lots of people swimming lots of people on their paddle boards and their kayaks it's really nice morning guys it's been a few days so the last time I saw you we were out on the kayak and we had a lot of fun this week we've pretty much just been at work doing the day-to-day -day. Nothing crazy, but I have Fridays off. Today we're going up to Abel Tasman National Park and we're gonna do a bit of the famous Abel Tasman hike. We're not gonna be doing the full like three day hike, but we're gonna go up and do a section of it. And I'm so excited to show you guys this part of this country. We've got about an hour drive up to the park, which is really not that bad. So let's pack up and go.
let's do a little update on Nelson, how it's been. We have been in Nelson now for two full weeks, I wanna say. And we've both been working, so getting back into just a normal work routine has been a little bit different after traveling for the last six months. Though I did work in the beginning too, but just getting used to Nelson. It's a totally new area to us. We were really feeling settled and at home in Christchurch. So up and moving to Nelson has been a little bit of a struggle. Not gonna lie, we haven't felt very much at home or anything like that. It hasn't felt like the most welcoming and open-armed type of place, but it'll come with time. I know it'll come with time. I think the reason we felt so at home in Christchurch is because we spent like two and a half months there and we really got to know the city. So it'll definitely come with time in Nelson. I mean, you can't argue with these views. Like this is unbelievable. This is like barely an hour away from where we live. Um, never felt so freaking spoiled and privileged in my life. This is exactly the reason why I wanted to move to New Zealand. So yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle just getting used to the new life and going back to work and everything like that. If you guys don't know, I am Coast Fire by my own mathematics, I guess you can say, which means that I don't need to save any more money for retirement. The amount I have invested, which is about $55,000 in investments and then roughly the same in property, I would be able to retire and live like a normal retirement at age 65 by taking CPP and OAS, which is the Canadian Pension Plan and Old Age Security. So of course that involves me going back to Canada at some point and working because you have to live there for like 40 years and you have to pay into CPP for a long time in order to get it. So that's my whole plan. And the reason why I am able to not work full time and travel in New Zealand is because I have worked in the past and saved a lot of money. So that's kind of how I'm rolling, how I'm able to do this type of lifestyle. Something I didn't think I would be able to achieve for at least another like 10 to 15 years. So it's just me today. Donovan is at work. So we're doing a little solo hike on this gorgeous September day. I've really been itching to get out into nature and do a hike since we got here. So I'm super happy to be able to do this today. So I did ask on YouTube not too long ago if you guys had any questions for Donovan and I, because we were gonna do a Q&A. Doesn't look like we're gonna do that anytime soon. So I thought I would just jump on here and share the few questions I got and give you my thoughts. And we'll probably do a full Q&A video in the future sometime. But let's go ahead and jump into the questions that were left on that post. So the first one was from Trudy, Trudy McLaren. Thanks so much for asking a question and for watching our videos. And her question was, what were your original expectations of New Zealand? So hopefully it's not too loud over here, but just popped over to this little beach to get some more sun, get back into the sunshine and answer these questions for you guys. So my original expectations of New Zealand, when I first saw this question, it made me really stop and think about it because I have wanted to come and move to New Zealand since high school, so over 10 years. And I think I had it in my mind that New Zealand was like this perfect idyllic place that I would just feel at home. I've struggled my entire life with not feeling like I belong. I've always kind of felt like an outcast and I thought New Zealand just sounded like this place that it would fit. Everything would fit, everything would feel natural, everything would feel like it was right. Like everything would just completely fall into place and I kind of pushed everything in my life off thinking that the reason why things weren't moving forward or I wasn't feeling my best was because I wasn't in this place, essentially. Because I thought moving here would be the answer to everything, which is obviously ridiculous. And moving somewhere is not gonna fix problems. It's probably just gonna create more because you're gonna bring who you are with you no matter where you go. So that was my original expectation 
of New Zealand. The second question that I got was from my good friend from New York, Single Parent Fire. Thank you so much for asking a question. And she asks, are you considering shortening your stay in New Zealand given it hasn't met your original expectations? So yes, originally we had planned to come here for the full amount of time we could be here, which was or is 23 months as Canadians. We only got the 12 month visa before coming here, but we have always planned to stay for that second amount of time to get that extension of the visa. After being here for six months and seeing so much and knowing that we're gonna be settled in the Nelson region for the next six months, I'm at the point right now where I really miss home. I really miss my cat who's staying with my brother in Eastern Canada. And I just miss the familiarity of being in Canada. I really do love New Zealand, but I can't see myself living here long term. So I think instead of spending that second year in New Zealand, what we're gonna end up doing is leaving a little bit earlier and going to Australia for maybe a month or two and then potentially exploring parts of Europe and just seeing a little bit more of the world. One thing I'll say about New Zealand is it's not as foreign or doesn't feel as foreign as it is considering how far away it is. It's definitely so familiar. I mean, the first language is English. It's a colonial country. It has colonial history. So you get that same kind of Commonwealth feeling to Canada. So yes, I think we are going to cut our stay shorter than we had originally expected. The third and final question that I got for this Q&A is from Detractor. Dat Tractor? Dat Ractor? Detractor? Not sure how you say your username, but thanks for asking a question. And the question is, what was the one thing that surprised you most about New Zealand that you weren't expecting? And what New Zealand slang do you now use daily? Hmm. I think the one thing that surprised me the most about New Zealand is, like I had just mentioned, it just doesn't feel that different. Coming from Calgary, Alberta, and having traveled through British Columbia and the Okanagan Valley quite a bit, I have to say it's so reminiscent of those areas that it just doesn't feel like it's that far away. It feels so familiar and so similar, and I think I was expecting it to feel like this whole other place, this whole other lifestyle and country and everything but it just to me doesn't feel that way it feels very similar to home which is good and bad i guess and slang that i use daily now i definitely say car park i haven't said parking lot in a very long time car park just like rolls off the tongue a little better so i love that how you going is a common greeting here like how are you doing how are you uh, most people just say how you going and i like to say that a lot and then we do like to use names for places. So Wellington is commonly referred to as Welly or chips for fries. And that was it for the Q&A question. So I think I'm gonna pack up my pack, maybe take a few photos here and get back on the track. So many little bridges to cross and all these tiny waterfalls and streams. I love that on a hike. Looks like we made it. it took just about two hours 20 minutes or so i'm gonna find a spot to sit down and have a lunch just made it down to this campsite here and i chose the wrong spot for lunch this should have been where i stopped um this is amazing holy shit. this is a campsite
beautiful. I found the cave. Obviously only accessible on lower tides, but um, neat. Just heading back on the trail now. I loved this hike, it was fantastic. But I think that we'll be back up here and Donovan will come next time and we can check out this hike again. I don't think we'll go as far, but we'll probably walk a portion of it and then check out Split Apple Rock because I think I'm gonna save that for next time. And that'll pretty much be it for this vlog. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you guys really soon in the next video. Bye.